Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Marina, this is you again. Thank you so much for being here. And as I promised before, we are going to actually make this video about how my body looks right now, where I am right now, what I've been doing for the past couple of three to two to three months, uh, what has changed, what I tried, what worked, what didn't work for me, and um, what I'm trying to achieve and maybe a little bit of how I'm going to do it but I'm actually going to put it in a video on after so it's going to be before and after video and by the way let me know if you want me to do in between video where I can show you you know certain steps of my progress and then I can show you what exactly I'm doing what working what's not working and whether you know I'm progressing and whether I see much difference in my body at all so yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. Let me know, um, let me know. Just let me know. Um, or if you have any other ideas, let me know um, what you want me to do. But yeah, so let's get into it. So to start with, um, I'm going to tell you that two to three months ago, um, this is when we started, we just started the quarantine. Um, and actually for a whole month, I was out of the game. <laughs> I was laying on my couch or in my bed all day, every day, and then I would be been watch, you know, uh, Netflix or I've been watch like certain Russian shows on the TV, and I watched all of them. When I'm telling you all of them, I watched all of them. <laughs> like name one, I'm telling you, like yes, I did watch it. <laughs> so for a whole month, I wouldn't be doing anything. Like I took a break, and I actually. I don't regret it because now I feel more energized, feel more motivated, more willing to, you know, go get it and get the body of my dreams. But basically, yeah, so a month passed since, you know, I ate everything in my fridge, I ate, I watched everything my on TV, on Netflix, on YouTube, and I was like, all right, so now it's time to do something else with my life. And then honestly, I've been walking by the mirror and I was like, mmm, <laughs> I was like, I didn't like how like I'm becoming. First and second, I didn't even want to do anything. Like I would feel so not energized. I would feel so unmotivated. And I would feel like I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do nothing. And that's honestly, that's what happens to me every time like I slack off or like every time I just like stop doing something. And honestly, I need it sometimes because I'm like, I'm just like introvert, extrovert. Like I'm like kind of 50 50 because sometimes I'll be like, all right, I don't, I just want to go home. I just want to be to myself. And, but then like after a while, I'll be like, all right, woohoo, let's get it. <laughs> so it's like, it depends, you know? So I didn't, I'm not regretting this like month because, you know, I actually gained weight that now I can work with and I can like adjust it and put it where I want it to be. Uh, which sound like you know kind of easy, but it's really not and I'm in the after video I'm actually going to tell you how I did it and things like that So yeah, so I was like I was walking by the mirror and I was like, oh my god, girl <laughs> What happened to you? <laughs> Bring it back the old marina or some do something <laughs> And I was like, all right now it's time to change So I started doing certain workouts on YouTube like I will find a lot of workouts on YouTube and I was like, oh you know maybe I should try this maybe I should try that and then I did and then honestly they were intense like while I'm doing workout I'm sweating like I'm like coughing and puffing like I'm doing like you know so much and I'm trying to do so much and then like I feel how intense the workout is but because the rest of my life you know I stay home and I wasn't really doing much like I didn't see much result so I'm like all right this is not working for me. I need to do something else to see some type of result. So then I started um, running outside. So in my apartment complex, we have like a little area where you can run. And I started running and I was like, all right, let me just try doing that for like a little bit and then see how it works. But um, if you remember from the first video, I actually broke my ankle and it was just, I can't run like I can run on the treadmill as fast as I want as like but outside for some reason I can't I don't know I don't know why but it's just I did like my ankle doesn't feel comfortable outside maybe it's just like it needs like more cushion you know how like treadmill has that like the, you know the running the running spree like it has like a little bit of a cushion well at least in my gym 
and so it's easier like on my ankle so i'm like all right what can else can i do you know to change it up or like you know to keep staying active so i started jump romping and actually in my um i have a website that is called go fit and busy i'm going to put it in um in the description below as well if you like to check it out it's completely free there's a lot of like you know different articles about like today's trends like you know about fitness and wellness and health i have an article about jump roping how to do it right where to start what length of rope you gotta um get specifically for your height how to hold it correctly you know not to get tired but basically i started jump roping and I didn't like it either. Like it would, I would, I would also like I would go jump rope for like 30, 40 minutes. But then I come back home and I'm like, yes, I am drenched. Yes, like you know, I'm working out. But it's just like it still didn't feel right. Like I still didn't feel like much changing with my body. And it, yeah, so I was like, all right. So what else can I do? So I'm like, let me start. And then again, I would jump rope outside my house. And I'll be like, I'll get bored like over time. I'm like, I need to do something else. So I started going to the beach. Like I will go to every, I went to every single beach in Boston. <laughs> and, and I will walk for like an hour to an hour and a half, which is perfectly fine, you know, but over time, like at first it was like the new scenery, everything is fine and blah, blah, blah. But like after a while, I was like, all right, I spent this much time of my life on the walking, but I still don't see the results that I want. So I'm like, all right, this is crazy. Like gyms need to open up. <laughs> and then um, my friend actually, he told me um, there's gyms are opening up in Rhode Island, just called Edge, Edge Fitness. And I actually really liked it. Um, I really liked it. And they actually have a woman section in case you are shy um, or you like, you know, you don't know what exactly you're doing at the gym. So, you know, to get like all the eyes and all the distractions away you can just try that but basically yeah so i went to the gym and i've been going to the gym for like past two to three days already and i was like oh my god like my body like my body is aching like right now like i can't even move my arms like my arms my back is just like oh my goodness <laughs> But like, I love, I love the pain because I know like I will see the results and I know that that means that, you know, I'm working the muscles that I want to work. Like I'm changing my body and I feel it. Like if I can't feel nothing, like I feel like I'm not really putting much work into my workout. So yeah. So, um, it's a little bit far, so we don't have anything open around here so far, as far as I know. Um, so I do drive a little bit far to the gym. It takes me like an hour, one way. But I'm like, you know, I really want to do it because like, first, I promised you guys. So now you guys hold me accountable. But, and second, like, I'm like, I want to change my body. And I want to feel like I'm changing it. Because like, the things that I've been doing before, like, I wouldn't even feel like any type of, like, I wouldn't feel anything. Like, after the workout the next day, like, I wouldn't even feel anything. But now, once I started going to the gym, like, I feel like my body is hurting, my body is aching. Like, I feel everything. And I was like, yes, that's what I want. <laughs> now I feel like I'm working out, finally. <laughs> I'm a strong believer in staying active. And not only, you know, for the purpose of, like, changing your body or having, like, a certain shape. You know, you can just being active and doing some type of exercises it gives you so much energy it gives you so much motivation you feel like you want to do things with your life so now i'm actually going to show you exactly how my body looks like currently i'm going to show you um you know what i want to change what i'm trying to improve and things like that so stay tuned Mwah! All right, are y'all ready to see my body currently? So, so here where I am right now currently with my body. So see, I gained some type of weight that I actually want to change. But yeah, basically, I got super thick, super everything. So this is what I'm going to do. I actually want to get my abs 
even tighter. Like I wanted to get like tighter and get rid of like this things, you know, and work my back out. And by the way, just a quick tip. If you want to work your abs out, you need to consider working your back as well because your back, like you see how like my abs here, like kind of, you know, kind of, you know, structured a little bit, kind of like they are flat and everything like that. But like on my back, you know, I have like a little fat, a little things going on. So, and that contributes actually to this, to like the sides. So if you want to work out, you know, your abs, you got to consider working out your, your, um, your back as well. All right, y'all. So I'm back again here. So yeah, that was my body review. And, um, I just want to say, yes, it is very true. The genetics play a role. And then, you know, I saw so many girls where they have you know the shape that i want which is like you know tight abs you know very juicy butt <laughs> and like skinny arms and things like that um out here and they don't go to the gym or anything like that and you know it it is what it is and god like honestly god didn't give me curves but i was able to build my butt so can you so don't feel discouraged don't feel like oh that's the only body like you know i stuck with for the rest of my life this is not true and you can change it up just put in work do your research go to a specialist um talk to people you know what to do or like you know go to a gym and if you see like a girl like actually that happened to me a couple of times because in the beginning and actually, even like a few years ago, I would go to a gym and I would see like a beautiful, beautiful girl and I see her working out and doing like things and I see how she looks and I love, you know, her shape. So I'll come up to her and be like, oh, what do you do for this? And do what do you do for this? And we have like a little chat and there's nothing wrong with asking, you know, people what they do and things like that. So if you feel like, you know, you need like a little tip, you need a little advice. So, you know, don't hesitate to ask people about it. It's nothing wrong with it. Nobody's going to buy it. Like the worst thing that happened, they can say no. That's it. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to ask somebody else. I'm going to do my own research or like whatever. But to be honest, like nobody ever said no to me. <laughs> like I would ask them questions and they would respond to me. So, so yeah, don't like, don't worry, but just put in her work. And then again, like just, you know, a little um, side note to the video that I just did on my body. Like, so I'm, I'm at all not where I want to be. Like at all, at all, at all. Like I have so much stuff that I want to do to my body. And I'm like, that's why I'm so excited to go to a gym right now. Even though it's like, it's an hour away. And to be honest, that's kind of like far. Like I never drove to a gym like that far. <laughs> like I'm like, damn. But I like, I just so, I got, I got so motivated for like not working out for like, you know, a couple months. And I just want, you know, the body that I want so bad. I'm like, you know what, whatever. I will just go to a gym. I'll just bang it out and get what I want. And then again, like I just bought a membership for like a month. That's it. Because I feel like hopefully, I'm not exactly sure, but hopefully, um, you know, we're going to have everything, um, open up you know pretty soon like i said i want like you know tighter abs like, i don't really do much abs like i would do i would do high intensity training cardio um and i would do back workouts legs arms like that's that's my biggest like things like I'm, i just started so actually i can't even lift weights that i used to lift can you imagine <laughs> like i was like <laughs> It was like the funniest thing. I got to a gym and I was like, all right, you know, let's get it done. <laughs> I got to a gym and like I would put the ways that I would usually do like for like leg extensions or like hip thrusts or deadlifts. And I would be like, you know, I would look like this, <laughs> like this buffest guy ever. I'd be like, yeah, I can do it. Da, da, da. And then <laughs> and then I would take the weight and I can't even do it on one time. I was like, oh my God. And I was like, oh, now I gotta put it back in. <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, you know, don't, and then don't hurt yourself. Like, you know, I know that you, you know, you might want results. And to be honest, it's not about weights to me either. Like, I don't, I don't, 
I don't go searching for like the hot, like how much weight I can I can lift today or like oh my god like yesterday I lifted I don't know five pounds you know just figuratively speaking and today I'm lifting like ten pounds I'm like oh my god no it's just like honestly I'm listening to my body and always listen to my, your body and don't overdo it just because you want results fast like don't force it uh, because i don't want you to hurt yourself i don't want you to um yeah i don't want you to hurt yourself i don't want you to you know to get any injuries or anything like that so don't overdo it like listen to your body and take it step by step like for example if you can you know do like a certain weight and you feel you know for like 10 or 12 times and you feel like it's getting easier with, like this time then increase it but if you're like struggling and your back is hurting or something else is hurting but you still keep going like that's not good because that's happened to me a couple of times especially with my lower back lately it's been like hurting for some reason and I'll be like, yeah, I can do it. La, la, la. And then like the next day, like I can't even get up like off bed because it just hurts so much. And then like it would take me like a while to get back, you know, to, to working out too. Because, you know, it just hurts. Like I can't even do stuff. But like if you if you take it slow, like kind of like if you if you take it slow and you starve with like smaller weight and then you fill your body and then you build it up that's how you get like the most results so yeah so oh and then another side note that i wanted to say that um i actually been reading this article about spot fat, fat reduction and to be honest i don't believe in spot fat reduction but then i kind of do but then i kind of don't it's just like i'm very like you know how there's some guys like at the gym and they'd be you know how that Kanye West song like all all back no legs <laughs> so there are some guys that be just working out on their you know upper body and they'd be having like crazy build buff upper body but no legs like no like be chicken legs so be like okay so and then but then some people like oh um i need to just lose you know belly fat like i don't want to lose nothing else like nowhere else and then some people say like you can do it and then some people you can't do it and then most of the time i see people saying like no i can't do it. like you got you can't do it you have to like um lose weight on your body of, on all your body and then you know build it up basically so i kind of agree i kind of disagree with that to be honest and i'm going to um because the way i do it i'm gonna show you in uh before um in the after video i'm gonna show you how exactly i do it because yeah i had i had because there have been times where I would get my body to having like a, you know, a, a juicy bottom, like a big juicy bottom and very, very tight upper body. So it is definitely doable. You just have to like know the strategy. I'm going to share with you what works with, for me, what worked for me before, what I'm going to do right now and then see how it transforms my body. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. It was it was fun. It was fun. I had fun. And have an amazing, amazing day. Thank you. Bye.